Ah, welcome friend to a niche video on an already niche channel. So today I have a bunch of robot uh, chassis printed with different materials and we are going to throw them into a beetle weight combat robot spinner that I have and see what chassis material holds up best. So over here I have this and it's pretty janky. This will not be a scientific test, but I'll be clamping a chassis piece here I will be spinning up the uh, spinner, and then this little linear actuator will slowly push the blade into the chassis at an even consistent speed, and then we'll see uh, which chassis materials shatter and which hold up. I've got four different chassis we'll be testing. The first and easiest to duplicate is a PLA print. This is about 80% infill. Pretty much any 3D printer can do this. The next is ABS, again about 80% infill. Um, for this you need a heated bed, but still fairly easy to print. Next up is a Mark Forge print. If you don't know the company called Mark Forge, they do very high quality FDM prints that have high strength. So it's a nylon uh, print with carbon fiber infill to increase the stiffness. So it's a little bit stiffer than a regular nylon print, but like most nylon prints, it'll be very impact resistant. And then finally, kind of the holy grail of small combat robot chassis materials, we have a UHMW CNC'd chassis. This is actually from Sergeant Cuddles. And shout out to Robert for this donation. You should go subscribe to him. So for our first test, we have the PLA part. And I can't see in the entryway. I am controlling this from another room. So I have to go purely based off of the sound to figure out when I should stop and uh, end the test. Because I'm just going based on sound, there is some inconsistencies between tests. In this case, I kind of extended the uh, robot into the part twice for the ABS, so then I got a little bit of extra damage. What happened here? Now let's take a look at the damage. First up is this PLA part, which wore away a surprising amount before finally shattering. Next we have the ABS part, which shattered pretty quickly and ended up scattering parts all around my floor. So I don't think I got great layer adhesion on this ABS print because um, it shattered in layers. So maybe I need the temps a little bit higher for my ABS print. Next up we have the Mark Forged part which was doing so well right up until the end when it did split. No chunks came off like with the ABS part where there are just chunks flying. The Mark Forge print stayed as one unit um, because it's flexible enough that when one wall breaks free, it can bend quite a bit without a chunk kind of snapping. With a Mark Forge 3D printer, you can't really crank the infill all the way up to 100%. You have to leave a little bit of air, and that is the location that the print split on. So. To do better, you'd have to print with um, the continuous carbon fiber infill strands, which some Mark Forged 3D printers can do, uh, but this was just done with Onyx, and because of that, uh, once a lot of the wall was uh, worn away, there was just a little tiny bit of material left, and there happened to be a bit of air for the infill um, pattern right at that location, and that's where it split. And finally, we have the UHMW which did fantastic. There's a lot of material worn away. Um, it looked like it was actually melting away um, a little bit, but the uh, beam kind of stayed intact and it's still decently stiff. So there's enough material left at this bottom portion that assuming the new curvature that uh, was imparted on this back wall doesn't affect the robot, the robot would probably be undamaged and would be able to carry on. 
Now, the last test wasn't really a single blunt impact. It was more of a grinding effect on the top portion of the chassis. So I wanted to do a different test where the blade only contacts the chassis once. I have the chassis mounted higher than before, and hopefully this blade catches the bottom and it'll only hit once. Alrighty, so I've realized that I cannot get the robot to slide into the chassis fast enough. So I've extended a selfie stick to the safety of behind this wall, and I am going to yank on it, which will shove the chassis into the blade. Well, as you saw, that didn't work, so I've come up with an even more dumb idea. I've mounted the chassis to this pivoting piece. I'm gonna spin up the blade, and then from behind the wall, use the selfie stick. It's going to fall down, and at some point, it should contact perfectly the spinning blade, and it will be an instantaneous contact, so I'll get one impact instead of the continuous do -do 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 hits that I've been getting in the other tests. It's dumb, but we'll see if it works. I broke the selfie stick. But it would appear that that was a pretty successful test. Carefully setting up the aim. So on that last test, I actually hit the clamp, and you can see just how jacked up it is. So if that was your finger, it would no longer be attached. So that's why, do not replicate this at home, it is dumb, kids. Got it? Time for the Mark Forge print. Last up, we have the UHMW. All right, let's do one last damage report. So first up is the PLA, shattered completely. That's pretty self-explanatory. Next, we have the ABS, which where the blade impacted did break off, and then it also split back here, the inner portion of the frame. Once there's enough bending on this piece, it ripped off entirely. Next, we have the onyx part, um, which seemingly provided no resistance. Um, I'll show that clip again. The blade just buzzed right through it. So, interesting there. And finally, we have the UHMW part, which it was a pretty big hit. That blade hits pretty hard. Um, it cut about two thirds, maybe three fourths of the way up into the chassis, but the chassis did finally slow and stop the blade. And it's kind of interesting how the material almost like behaved as if it was gummy, um, which is something you notice when you try to machine UHMW. It, it's almost a sticky, gummy type material when being machined. And that's how it behaved here, where the blade slid through the UHMW and kind of ripped chunks apart, almost like it was Laffy Taffy. So obviously this performed the best and the PLA naturally, um, well PLA shatters as PLA does. So um, the Mark Forge print was the only printed part that did not shatter, uh, but it did not hold up quite as well as a CNC'd chassis would, um, unfortunately. So hopefully this test was useful and have a great day.